everybody and thank you for tuning in. Today has been a super busy day for DJI, but the day is not over yet. Believe it or not, there's still more to come. Let's discuss. Hey guys, welcome to Droning On Live. This is our second live stream on the show. Hopefully you can all hear me clearly. I really, really hope so. Chat's up on the screen up there. So if you guys are up there somewhere, if you wanna join in the action, just click on the little live chat button and get chatting to us. Already watching, we've got Amiga Lord, Moto UK, Kai Cameron, Dante, Ra, Caroline Tyler, hey, Henry Robotic, Drone Viral, uh, David Lent, loads of people. Legwork, thanks for joining, one of our club members as well. And just to start off, if you are interested in joining the Droning On Club, you get to chat with us all behind the scenes. We've been chatting non-stop. These guys keep me awake all night. I'm joking, they're great. But genuinely, this is why I started the Droning On Club. We've built this really good community behind the scenes of the channel. And these guys get an insight into how I work, including live screen shares ad hoc on when I'm editing. I just share it and we chat. And we also just discuss tips, techniques. They share their videos with me as well, which is really nice and I give feedback. Most of it appreciated, some of it not. But um, anyway, yeah, we've got members in the chat. So if you are interested in joining, just hit that join button below. I never know where it is when I'm on a live stream because stream, they're all reversed. But anyway, it starts as little as $1.99 or £1.99 a month. It's nothing. And have a look at the perks because this channel's offering a lot. Anyway, back to business. Phantom Flight 101 has just joined. I'll be talking about that awesome dude a little bit later in the stream. But first of all, I wanted to talk really about what's happened today and summarize all of it for you guys to avoid you having to trawl through loads of videos popping up all over the internet. And it really has been a busy, busy day for DJI today. So the first thing that happened, in fact, the first topic I'm gonna to talk about are gaming chairs. I mean, these things here. You'll notice whenever you see anybody in a video sitting on one of these, they're never sat straight on them like that. You'll notice we're always sat off center. And you know why? It's because they are bloody uncomfortable. I don't know why I bought this. I find myself constantly squirming around in it in the day. A bit of a lesson for you guys, if you're gonna buy a chair for an office, don't buy a gaming chair because they're really not that comfortable. Anyway, DJI were at Intergeo today, which is an exhibition held every year. This year it was virtual. We were all quite excited because as you'll remember, we saw the captions on the screen and the, the teaser image that was sent out there. We all hoped that this teaser image might be something a little bit consumery potentially, but we knew that this was a commercial show and consequently, of course, the what was actually gonna be released was going to ultimately be a commercial product. What was actually released are two cameras that you can attach to the, the large commercial enterprise drones that DJI offer. And you might not know this, DJI are far more than just Mavics and you know, Phantom drones. They offer agricultural drones, which are gigantic. And they also offer um, drones for mapping and surveying of land and property. So the two products they launched today are the Zen Muse P1, which is a whacking great big camera, and also the Zen Muse L1. And the L1 is the interesting one. Pretty as well, isn't it? This is basically a, a camera with LiDAR. LiDAR is kind of like radar and basically gives you absolute precision in, in mapping things, understanding how far something is from the camera and therefore being able to create beautiful 3D models of whatever you're shooting. Not only that, but it's attached to a three axis mechanical gimbal and it's got a one inch camera sensor. That is a really impressive product. I don't know what it costs. I probably don't want to know and I probably can't afford it. Um, but needless to say, this is not a consumer product released today and we knew it wouldn't be, unfortunately. Got some more people in the chat. Flyby Guys. Now that guy, have a look at his channel. Flyby Guys is very much on the commercial sector of drone um, photography and videography, flying on the cutting edge stuff and, and I think he does some surveying and mapping as well. So have a look at his channel. Also drone uh, Akisharo. Hello, novice quad, novice quad, hello. So the release today, yeah, a bit of an anticlimax for us guys who were hoping for something a little bit more consumer focused, but hey, <clears throat> it's not over yet. 
So the next topic I wanted to talk about is the Osmo Pocket 2. Now this has been a very popular product, uh, the, the original Osmo Pocket, sorry, for a long, long time. It's really, really been a favorite and it was a real risk for DJI. It was their kind of first real venture into the um, camera market in many respects, especially the compact portable markets. And it sold very, very well. I was one of the very lucky guys to get the Osmo Pocket months before it was released and I got to play with it tons and I loved it. And of any launch video I've ever put live, the Osmo Pocket set had the biggest viewer base. And even now, they're some of my most popular videos. So I think DJI know that and they've realized that this is a great market, great product, a great sector, and one that they can make a lot of money out of. They're also trying not to keep their eggs in one basket by just offering drones. And so by getting into this camera market, potentially they're keeping <clears throat> a whole new source of revenue. I have to excuse my voice today. I've, I'm a little bit rusty. I'm sounding a little bit like Barry White. So it was quite inevitable that the Osmo Pocket was going to arrive at some point. And it does now indeed look like that's the case because as you'll know, earlier in the week, we saw the leak from the Mavic Mini 2 on the FCC database. And when it's on the FCC database, that basically means that it is going to be released. It is coming. And so the Osmo Pocket 2 appeared on there today. What I'll just do is quickly share with you that listing. So normally they're quite cryptic with these releases and they're very apprehensive about revealing any kind of clue about the product. You know, they normally don't give you the name of it. But on this occasion, they've kind of made it so obvious. If you look at this, this is the actual FCC label that's gonna go on the product. And if we just zoom into this here, uh, not really a fan of the Edge browser yet, getting there. You'll see here, it actually says DJI Pocket 2. Now, interesting they didn't put Osmo. It might simply be because there wasn't room here between the DJI logo and the QR code. But it says, um, do it all handle, do it all handle. Doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it? Um, but anyway, you can't you can't really doubt that. That's an Osmo Pocket 2. Now what we think we're seeing there possibly is the bottom of the Osmo Pocket. And that looks like a tripod mount. Now that's one of the things we all really wanted. If I just grab my pocket. It's been quite irritating with this because you do often want to put it on a tripod, but you can't because on the bottom, see we've just got a USB-C slot there actually no tripod mount that has been very very irritating because you have to dock it into a tripod mount um, and so hopefully that is what it might appear to be but we don't know for sure above that is what looks like a docking bay you can see a very distinctive USB-C port there and that's good because um, it looks like it's again going to have USB-C on the bottom the question would be where are you going to put USB-C and the tripod mount point it's going to be quite an interesting one but interestingly as well there's also another FCC entry for a wireless microphone transmitter by the way this information was discovered by the website Kanzhaji I can never pronounce it it's a really good DJI leaked website they've been leaking stuff for a long long time you'll find that a lot of the stuff that's published on there our CETA LV then takes and steals and shares on his own right as if they're his leaks. Have a look at Kantaji because that's the, the source of a lot of this. Wireless microphone transmitter is again very very exciting because again another complaint of the original Osmo Pocket is that this thing has no three and a half mil jack. It has no simple potential for an external mic. You can plug a USB-C adapter into it but it has to be DJI's. You can't just plug any old generic USB-C mic into this. So again, another little bit of excitement. The Osmo Pocket 2 is on the FCC database. That means it probably is coming in the next few weeks. Do have a look at that. Just have a quick look at the chat. Hey guys, um, thank you for all the comments. We've got 99 people watching as well. That's really cool. Um, Daniel's asking, when do you think we'll get an announcement for the Mavic Mini 2? We will talk about that in a little bit. We'll come back to that one. The next one though, someone mentioned Osmo Action 2. The Osmo Action is another great camera from DJI. I've got it over here. 
I use this a lot when I'm out in the field filming. Um, it really is a great little camera. Focus on me. Maybe not. Yeah, there we go. Lovely, lovely action camera. Really rugged. Love the front screen. It's quite ironic that so many people in the GoPro area criticize the front screen as pointless. But now that the GoPro 9 has one, they all think it's brilliant. Um, I wonder when and if there will be an Osmo Action 2. I really don't know. I do know that this product did not sell particularly well for DJI. So I think people were very apprehensive about taking the risk on an action camera with DJI when it was a very new area for them. But we'll see. If there is going to be an Osmo Action 2, it might be after the Osmo Pocket 2 because the Osmo Pocket came before the Osmo Action. We will see. So, as somebody mentioned in the chat, the Mavic Mini 2, there was no mention of it at the event today. There's been no teaser images out for the Mavic Mini 2 and we have no date. So normally you get these teaser images a couple of weeks before the actual launch event. You get some snazzy slogan like fly as you want or fly your life or fly like bird. But we haven't seen any of that yet, but I guarantee that when it's on its way, we will see something like that coming soon. But I don't know when, unfortunately. There have been a few dates thrown around, but they are pure guesswork and speculation. I'm not going to guess on a date because we don't know. So, unfortunately, no news on the Mavic Mini 2 yet. But I do think it's coming. The FCC entry is just so clear. Either a Mavic Mini 2 or a Mavic Mini Pro is probably on its way. It's quite exciting. Other than that, there is a, another little bit of news, which is if you look at DJI's website, let's uh, just have a quick flick onto that now. So here on the DJI YouTube, you'll notice that we have some videos queued up here, premieres here, masterly, masterfully crafted and filmmaking unfolds. If we launch one of those now, you can see that they are ready to air at 5 a.m. my time. So that's in seven hours time. Very late. I certainly won't be up at that time. But DJI have two new products arriving very late tonight. We thought they might appear at the Intergeo event, but it looks like they're releasing these independently. It's not a live stream. You'll notice that these are premieres, unfortunately. And that means that they are pre-recorded and it's just going to be a, t a, a introduction, a, you know, well introducing this product video. It's highly likely that these are Ronin gimbals. Ronin gimbals are very, very high caliber commercial gimbals for SLR cameras. Um, they're really, really high end and quite expensive, but very impressive. Um, we believe that they are going to be coming out in this event, in these premieres, which air in seven hours time. So keep an eye out. It might be interesting. I would love to look at that and see it as a drone, but unfortunately it's not a drone. We believe they are two gimbals. So just a little bit disappointing. We all really, really had hoped that there was going to be the Mavic Mini over this day or tomorrow, but it looks like unfortunately that's not the case. But anyway, um, just have a quick look in the chat. Flyby Guys all did an Osmo action today. Flyby Guys, you'll love it. It's such a lovely little camera. You can get some really nice cinematography from that as well. Even though it's an action camera, the quality is quite beautiful. Um, novice quads like motorbikes. Yeah, very competitive market indeed. Uh, Craig wanted a GoPro but decided to get the action camera from DJI because of the double screen. Well, now GoPro has the double screen. Although I did see a review from, I think it was... Uh, Aussie actually, Aussie Tech, and um, he said that the front screen on the on the D, uh, GoPro 9 has a massive amount of lag, which is ironic because so did Osmo Action's front screen when it first arrived. I hope that GoPro will solve that, but hey. Um, Welsh Rob, that's one of our channel members. Again, if you want to join the channel, not only do you get a load of perks, but you also stand out in the chat. I reply to your comments first, I prioritize them, and also you get access to some special little emoticons which you can use during a live like this. Now, there is one final thing that I have to tell you guys, which is that tonight, in fact, in 40 minutes, I will be on a live stream with these fantastic guys here. This is Phantom Flight 101's channel. I'm sure you'll all know this guy. Kind of talks like this, and he ain't getting on no plane. 
Is that a good accent? I'm always criticised by Ken Heron for my American accent attempts. But I'm sure I'll be practising <clears throat> lots of that accent tonight with these guys. The Wednesday night with those guys on Phantom Flight 101's channel. So please guys, get over there later tonight. It's in 40 minutes, 11 o'clock CET. Haven't got a clue what time it is in America. Um, but it's the equivalent in 40 minutes time. Come and say hello on that stream. Be really, really good to see you all. And um, yeah, basically that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Apart from my voice about to go. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll last the, the whole evening at this rate. But yeah, DJ and I have had a really, really busy day. Let's hope that over the next week or two, we see some teaser imagery. We see some trailers of some sort to get us all excited and to give us a heads up on the dates. Because at the moment, we really are in the dark and it's really, really frustrating and irritating. But I'm sure it'll be worth the wait. Thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. And yeah, see you on the next one.